I am not saying that women don't belong on the court. I mean, heck, who would pick up the balls otherwise? But all of this shouting and yammering about equality. Hey, how about some equality for Bobby Riggs? This is my third nude shoot today. The Excuse me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Surprised in their lair. This is an unexpected pleasure. <laughs> My goodness, you both look sensational, if I may say. You may not. You're not supposed to be in here, you know. Because I'm a woman or because I'm a Jew, Bob? I find it's best to be clear before committing cold-blooded murder, so to clarify the press release. Oh, yes. It says here that you're offering the men's winner $12,000 and $1,500 to the women's. Those are the terms. The men's prize needs to be that high to attract the best players. We're trying to make this the most prestigious tournament in America. And paying the women less than ever makes it more prestigious. Uh, People pay to see the men play. They're mm -hmm. the draw. They're eight times more of a draw? You're offering the men's winner exactly eight times what you're offering the women's winner. Do we bring in an eighth of the crowd? I don't know percentages, but... Well, they sold the exact same amount of tickets to the women's final today as the men's. Same sales, same prize money makes sense to me. Oh, come on, be reasonable. I mean, there's no way that we could afford that. What's your argument, Jack? Well, for one thing, the men have families that they have to support. Well, I'm the main breadwinner in my family. Look. The men are simply more exciting to watch. They are. They're faster. Facts. And they're stronger. Fact. And they're more competitive. Just a fact. It's not your fault. It's just biology. That's not my point. We sell the same amount of tickets. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Well, that's the way it is. We'll boycott the tournament. Not only will we boycott, We'll set up our own tournament. Be sure and send me tickets. You have a good night, ladies. Did you have a busy day? Run off my feet, not a minute to think. Whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing down there, Priscilla, I'm not doing it. Well, Daddy told me that he thinks you're an integral part of the company. Well, it's steady, and it's what you need right now. I know, I know. Look how much peppercorns on here. I, I don't know, Junior. Let's see about a thousand. No way! There gotta be at least five thousand in there. I'll put a dollar on a thousand. Young men. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Young men, we do not gamble at the dinner table. We do not gamble any place, Bobby. Exactly, we do not gamble any place. Oh, you know what? I just remembered I need to go back to the office and finish up some work. Now? Your father has been so supportive, honey, that I don't want to let him down. See you later, kiddo. 아내에게 일 때문에 회사에 간다는 바비. 하지만 그 말은 완전 거짓말이었습니다. 과거 US 오픈 우승자였지만 지금은 도박 중독에서 벗어나지 못하고 있는 바비는 일하러 간다고 거짓말을 하고 아는 지인들과 돈이나 차를 걸고 내기 테니스를 즐깁니다. $100,000 girl. You don't see been a senior tour making 100 G's. Oh, she reckons she ought to get more than that. Same as the men. Well, you gotta remember, nowadays it's all the quality of this, the quality of that. They're burning bras, for God's sake. What I can tell you is that there's nothing wrong with a nice girl in a short skirt chasing a ball. You know, I won the goddamn U.S. Open. I could beat Billie Jean King. I could beat any of those women. But are they offering me equal prize money on the tour? No, sir. I'm getting peanuts. Hey, there's a bet for you. What's that? Bobby Riggs versus Billie Jean King. I'd pay a lot to see that. Hey, everybody. Hey. I know what you're all risking, because I'm risking the exact same thing. More. No, not more. The same. We're all putting our careers on the line for this. So I just want to thank you for your bravery. And your balls. Balls. Hey, balls. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm moving around too much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I've been, uh, I'm excited. I'm nervous or something. You're all tennis players? Yeah, you don't watch tennis? Oh, no, I don't have a TV. But I admire what you guys are doing. Sounds like you girls are getting men to pay attention to what you're saying for once. So, Billy Jean, what do you want? What do you mean? With your hair, what do you want to do with it? Oh. <laughs> 
Um, it doesn't matter. You need to get it on my face. You don't care about how you look? Someone as pretty as you? Uh, I'm not pretty. I mean, I don't. I thank you for, for saying that. What's your name again? Marilyn. It's a perfume. It's lavender oil. Put it on my wrist. It just relax the customers. It's nice. What's you doing? Uh, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know what? Uh, we've got a tournament in San Diego actually next month, and I have the lot of tickets, <laughs> so you could just bring everyone and. Billy Jean, let's uh, go. It's you know, everyone's invited to come next month in San Diego. So. Thank you again. Thank you. 모든 세팅을 끝낸 여자 테니스 선수들은 세계 여자 테니스 협회인 WTA의 새로운 출발을 알리기 위해 열린 기자 회견장으로 향합니다. 협회가 돈이 없어 가입비 1달러만 받고 계약했지만 매니저 글래디스의 노력으로 담배 회사로부터 협찬을 받게 되어 상금은 물론 각자에게 어울리는 테니스 복까지 맞추게 됩니다. 그리고 그녀들은 라디오 방송에다가 여자 테니스 선수들이 US 테니스 협회에서 불합리한 대우를 받았고 더 이상 묵과할 수 없어서 WTA를 만들었다고 홍보합니다. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice hair. You came. Why didn't you tell me how good you are? I can't believe how you move on the court. It's like watching some kind of wild animal. Oh, come on. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it? I, I've never seen anything like it. It was, it must be intoxicating. What, playing tennis? Being inside your skin? Let me do yours. Perfect. I gotta go soon. What? No. Yeah. No. I gotta get a bus back to LA. <laughs> no, it's too late for that. You can't take a bus right now. You can stay in my room. So Gladys used to make her share rooms, but we can afford our own now. Hello? Eureka! Hello? Eureka, Billy Jean! Who's this? It's Bobby, Bobby Riggs. Bobby? Listen, I had a great idea. Okay. Well, it's after midnight, Bobby, so can we talk another time? You and me, Billy Jean. Three cents, five cents, your choice. Are you drunk, Bobby? No, of course not! How about this? Man versus woman. Male chauvinist pig versus hairy leg feminist. No offense. You're still a feminist, right? No, I'm a tennis player who happens to be a woman. That's right. That's exactly who you are. And I am a tennis player who happens to be a man. Who says that he can beat any woman on the planet. Think of the publicity that we get. Think of the money. No. 35 grand. Where'd you get the kind of money? You see? You see? You're tempted. I'm really not. I'm not interested, Bobby. Good night. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Uh, by the way, I shaved my legs. Do the front of the bed? Who's coming with me? Well, look what we have here. Late. A little déshabillé, would you say? I would, Henry. Here, I'll put that in my car. I most definitely would. And what do you think Larry would say? He must know. Who am I driving with? <laughs> well, there's Neri. And there's Neri. You're late. Who's that? It's my, my, uh, my friend. Marilyn from the salon in L.A. You do know what she is, don't you? That 
woman with Billie Jean? Hairdresser? I think it's her lover. That girl. That's what happens on an all-woman circuit, Barry. Licentiousness, immorality, sin. Margaret, how are you? This better be good. No one's getting a lot of sleep around here. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, Margaret, he is lovely. <laughs> Hi. Do any of the other girls have kids? Um, no, just me. Playing all day and then taking care of you at night. Oh, boy. That's got to be I know all the traveling. You know what? You need a nanny. A nanny. <laughs> how much they cost? Well, you know what? That's exactly why I'm here. Because I think $35,000 would buy you a lot of nanny. What is your game, Bobby Riggs? A match. You versus me. Two out of three sets. $35,000. Why me? Because you're the best. You know, Billie Jean has been on me to play her, but you know what she's like. Yeah. And besides, I always say, if you're going to play, play the number one. Oh, Billie Jean's number one. Not if you beat her tomorrow. Anything? Oh, my. What? Oh, it's Larry. Oh. Hello? Ted here, darling. A petite heads up. Larry is in the building. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Going up? Thanks. Yeah. 31. Me too. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, honey. Oh, this is Marilyn. Oh. Larry. Oh, hi, hi. Uh, Marilyn is the, the, the hairdresser around here. And Larry is the... The husband around the here. The husband around here. Here, let me. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> the roads were clear, so I made good time. I should have called ahead, letting you know that I was coming. I got it. Switch. Here. I'm going to get another room. I've got phone calls to make, and you need to rest for the finals. Lady와 Marilyn 때문에 멘탈이 많이 흔들린 상황에서 시작된 랭킹 2위 마가렛과의 경기. 멘탈과 컨디션이 너무 안 좋았던 빌리지는 경기 내내 끌려 다니다가 마가렛에게 완패를 당하게 됩니다. That was bad. You don't seem yourself. I was thinking of heading home. There's lots to do from there, and I was thinking. I could give you some space and let you clear your head. Talk to you soon? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Marilyn, you know how all this gets paid for? Yeah, the, the prize money, rackets, hotels, flights, uh, food, everything. Sponsorship. And a sponsorship that would go away in a heartbeat if certain things were to be made public. I only have Billie Jean's best interests at heart. Uh, look, uh, you seem like a sweet girl. Don't condescend I... to me. Please. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not the competition. I, I'm just her husband, and you're... You're just a face. We're both just sideshows. Tennis is her true love, and if you get between her and the game, you'll be gone. Met Bobby Riggs last night. Tell me you didn't. Didn't what? He just wants to play an exhibition match is all. Now that I'm officially number one. It's not a tennis match, Margaret. You do know that. What do you mean? He tried that exhibition match line on me. Oh. 
And I suppose you turned him down? Are you kidding me? You think I want to join the Bobby Riggs Circus? He wants to make himself look great and women look stupid. It's not a match. It's a show. Well, I can understand why you might not want to play him, but um, I got nothing to hide. 많은 사람들의 관심 속에서 드디어 시작된 마가렛과 바비의 대결. 초반엔 팽팽한 경기였지만 점점 바비 쪽으로 우세해지더니 후반엔 바비가 마가렛을 가지고 돌며 경기를 끝내버립니다. 이 모습을 중계하던 잭은 시합이 끝나고 여자가 테니스를 못 친다는 것보단 심리적으로 남자보다 약하며 사업 정치, 스포츠 등 모든 분야에서 절대 여자는 남자를 이길 수 없고 최고의 자리는 항상 남자의 몫이라고 말합니다. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna triple the bet. Hundred thousand dollars to any woman who can beat Bobby Riggs. Question I ask myself is, is she out there? And if she is, does she have the nerve? The women's number one can't beat a 55-year-old. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's backed me into a corner now. Then don't play him. <laughs> who else is gonna beat him, Marilyn? I don't have a choice. No, you always have a choice. You don't get it. <laughs> I don't know how to help you. Do you even want me here? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I need to think. Hello? I was wondering when you were going to call. Call the bozo. Tom, it's on. But nothing gets a green on without my approval, right? Venue, date, TV rights, everything. The balls we use. I know Bobby, he'll be making deals on his deals by now. I'll call him first thing in the morning. No, now. He calls me at midnight. You know something? This can be great. Really, really great. And not just for women's tennis, you know? As long as I win. If there's one thing that I know about you, it's that this is one match you are gonna win. You're a good man, Larry. You're a good one. Put her there. All right, great. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I love women, in the bedroom and in the kitchen, but That's these so days they want to be everywhere, they want to be doing everything. Where is it gonna end? Pretty soon us fellas aren't gonna be able to go to a ball game, we're not gonna be able to go fishing, we're not gonna be able to stop and have a drink after work, and that's what this whole women's lit <laughs> thing is about, and it's gotta stop. Keep talking, Bobby. More nonsense you spell, the worse it's gonna be when you lose. <웃음> 다시 성사된 남녀 매치여서 그런지 더 많은 사람들의 관심을 받게 되었고 방송국에선 이두 사람의 훈련 모습을 찍습니다. 바비는 대충 훈련하며 장난스러운 모습을 보여주고 이렇게 해도 나는 빌리진에게 이길 수 있다는 것을 대중들에게 어필합니다. 반대로 빌리진은 바비와의 경기에서 최고의 기량을 보여주기 위해 열심히 훈련에 임합니다. I am not saying that women don't belong on the court. I mean, heck, who would pick up the balls otherwise? But all of this shouting and yammering about equality. Hey, how about some equality for Bobby Riggs? This is my third noob shoot today. Look, he can talk all he likes. That's one of the few things he's good at. But the only thing that matters is he wins the match. And if you mistake him for a fool, you may end up looking like one yourself. Whether he's wearing a dress, playing with an umbrella, or sporting this season's must-have accessory, a flock of sheep, Bobby has not lost a match yet. And as the Bobby Riggs circus moves on to the next town, people are beginning to wonder what has happened to the opposition. Has she choked? Has she fled the country? After all that... Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, gentlemen. Hey, honey, how's the flu? No, oh, don't believe everything you read in the papers, Bobby. But thank you for the flowers. I gave them to Rosie. And I put them in the trash. <laughs> Billy Jean. Jack. What are you doing here? Jack's my choice of commentator for ABC. Oh, that won't work. I won't play. Look, I just spent $750,000 on this event. You can't pull out the day before the match. 
Says who? Billie Jean, I know we've had our differences, but that's behind us. This is between you and Bobby now. Bobby? Oh, Bobby's a clown. This whole thing's an act for him, Jack. You know that. But with you, it's different. It's for real. What do you mean? I don't think you respect women. Oh, I've been happily married for 32 years. No, I think you like us in the kitchen and the bedroom. I mean, I think you are a gentleman, and I, I mean that. It's when we dare to want a little bit more. Just a little bit of what you've got. That's what you can't stand. Oh, really? Yeah. And to have you telling the American public what to read into every serve. I'm sorry, Jack. If you're commentating, I'm not playing. How do you think that's going to make the great Billie Jean King look? Backing out at the last minute just because she didn't like the commentator? I think it's pretty similar to how it'll make the great Jack Kramer look. Shutting the whole thing down because he didn't get to participate. No, that's not gonna happen. You're not gonna do this. This means too much to you. You and your sisterhood, you'd never throw it Jack, over something like this. Do you like remember you the last time you thought I was bluffing? One dollar. You know the difference between a good player and a great? The great players never let emotion get in the way. It messes with their game. Sorry, Bobby. Any last minute thoughts, Billie Jean? Are you going to win? Of course she's gonna win. Against an old guy like Bobby Riggs? Sure. Or play Rose Bowl and Stasi. Men are better. End of story. I'm not saying women are better. I've never said that. I'm saying we deserve some respect. Sir, do you have a daughter? Or a sister? I mean, sure as heck have a mother. Is your father better than your mother? Just because he's a man? Do you believe that? No. That's what you're saying. Whether you think you are or not. If I beat Bobby Riggs, will you stop saying it? Okay. Sir, I'm gonna hold you to that. Uh, 20 minutes to game time. Rosie Casals, they need you in the studio. <clears throat> now, I have to ask, do you really intend to inflict blue suede shoes on 90 million members of the viewing public? If they're good enough for Elvis, they're good enough for me. <sighs> well, something's off, and I think it's the shoes. It's not the shoes. Your hair?준비를 마친 빌리진과 바비는 많은 사람들의 환호를 받으며 경기장에 입장합니다. 모두가 숨죽인 상태에서 두 사람을 지켜보는 가운데 드디어 빌리진 대 바비의 경기가 시작됩니다. 
entering break, she did what she had to do, and she did it her way, Gene. And a great shot by Poppy Rick. The women in this arena are standing and cheering for Billy Jean today. Bobby doesn't look very happy. He started walking with his head down. I suppose we all expected to have some high humor involved in it. Instead, it seems to have become a very, very serious thing because the comedy has gone out of Bobby Riggs. Second game of the second set has just begun. Bobby Riggs serving, having broken through Billy Jean King. One game to none in favor of Bobby Riggs. And Billy Jean is seeking a strike back. Billy Jean King has won the second set six games to three. I think we're having a little problem with his hand. He keeps pulling on his fingers, and to me that says he's getting a cramp. He's having the hand and the arm looked at. Is this an injury then? This is an injury. Five minutes delay for an injury. I knew it would come to this. I knew uh, Bobby would have to come down to something. <laughs> like injuries. Okay, Bobby, ready to serve. Trailing in the third set. Here we go, Bobby. What do you say? Oh, boy! 15 love. One of the fans yelling, come on, Bobby, baby. Bobby wins that point. As he starts his fight to break through Billy Jean. Bobby Riggs fights back and breaks through. King, 세기의 대결이었습니다.